Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the different types of concrete countertop styles or designs. So if you're thinking of having a concrete countertop done, this video hopefully will help you make a decision on the design you like, maybe the color you like, maybe some of the different features of a concrete countertop. That's what this video is all about. Now, these concrete countertops are brought to us by my good friend John Mead over at John Mead Design. And I'll have a link to his website down in the description. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up while you're down there. Also, hit the subscribe button while you're down there and the little bell notification so you'll be updated whenever I put out a new video. So let's get started. Here's our first concrete countertop. This one is a white cement. It's got a it's got a built-in slant here, so you know when you wash your dishes, you can set them right here, and the water will drip back down in there. It's also got what we call a salt and pepper finish. You can see the finish on this is a it's a gloss finish, and it's been polished, so we we can just see a little bit of the sand in the surface. This is what we call a salt and pepper finish. Here's our next countertop. Now this is a pure white concrete countertop here. And this is just polished into the what we call into the cream. So all you see is the white from the countertop. This is beautiful. It's got an undermount sink here. Um, it's, it's got a Gen Air grill over here. But this this is what a nice white concrete countertop would look like. Our next countertop is this is just regular colored concrete, guys. Right here, there's no color in it. This is what regular colored concrete countertop looks like. And it's, it's polished to like a semi-aggregate finish. You can see some of the aggregate in the concrete here. Um, this, is a, this is a great natural look. This has a built-in concrete sink with it. And uh, that's, that's very possible. A lot of concrete countertops are made with concrete sinks now built right in. Um, if that's something you like, then I would definitely ask for that. Our next one is kind of has a charcoal type color to it so I know that the coloring is not great on this but this is a this is a real big countertop you know it's got like a bar stool type island here uh, a lot of countertop space to this it's all got rounded edges it's got like a semi gloss polish to it uh, nice darker looking countertop kind of goes with their floor here now this is another regular concrete colored countertop so no integral color in this high gloss polish high aggregate polish and there was also some inlays in here some other stones that were polished into the surface so those stones were set into the concrete mix when they poured it and then they were exposed when they did the polish another another big concrete countertop a lot of square footage here nice nice countertop here undermount sink um, that's pretty popular with concrete countertops. Our next one here is another just regular colored concrete, high polish, a lot of curves to the edges, nothing really square here on this island. Um, the other, the countertop up against the wall has square edges. But again, just regular colored, goes really well with their floor here. Um, beautiful, beautiful countertop very popular now here's one with some inlays in it this one has a stainless steel border that was that was cast into the concrete it also has some stainless steel inlays right here you can see that were polished into the concrete high aggregate polish the lighting's kind of showing like a yellow tint to it but it's not really yellow it has more of a gray finish to it but uh, you can definitely do a lot with inlays. You can put steel in it. You can put rocks in it. You can put glass in it. Just about anything you want can be polished here. All right, our next one is just a simple rectangular island type countertop with a, this has an undermount sink also. It has some black or some charcoal integral color in it. Just like a matte finish type polish. Clean and sleek, very nice looking. 
Here's another just regular gray concrete, just a different style, different design. Uh, bar stools can go here. Very, very thick looking countertop. Uh, the, the counters back here are probably two inches thick, just regular gray. This one got a farmer sink. That give you an idea what a farmer sink would look like with a concrete countertop. Another island countertop with a lot of square footage to it. This one has a, like a russet integral color to it. Highly polished. Uh, a, a little undermount sink here. Has an opening here for the trash can. So the trash can goes in the, in the cabinet below and then we can just throw our trash here so we don't have to keep opening and closing the door. Another darker concrete countertop with a lot of square footage. Uh, a lot of sitting space here for eating, eating breakfast, eating lunch, whatever you do in the kitchen in the morning or the afternoon. Uh, a lot of different shapes to this one. Has some diagonals, has some straight lines. Uh, a lot of size to it. Like I said before, big, big concrete countertop for a kitchen here. Here's another very light white concrete countertop. You can see this one has another Gen Air grill, uh, rectangular in size. A lot of square footage to this counter also. It's got a countertop over here over these cabinets. It's got a countertop over here. Another farmer sink to see what that looks like. Uh, it's got the dishwasher here. It's a good looking countertop. Here's another intricately colored black concrete countertop with high uh, aggregate exposure to it. Um, a lot of people like the aggregate look. It does look pretty sharp when it when it's, has a lot of aggregate exposure. The rocks give it a lot of texture, a lot of meaning. And another undermount sink here, a pretty good size undermount sink. Here's a, the stove here built in. Another white style design, concrete countertop, very white. Uh, just polished into the cream, no, no sand, salt and pepper exposure, no aggregate exposure here. Another undermount sink. Here we go with just a regular colored concrete. It has a, just a different shape to it, a different design to this island with, a, with another like Gen Air grill to it. An undermount sink here, an undermount sink here. Good size, you know, plenty of room to sit here and, and do whatever you need to do. There's, there's a cutting board over here for preparing meals. Here's a sleep design, so a dual sink design, both undermount, and in between each sink, the concrete's tapered. So if you wanted to set anything here, any water running off it would drip back into the sink on both sides. And we'll show that a little bit more right here. So the dish drain type of contour is something we can build right into these concrete countertops. Very neat design, very neat style. And our last one here is a, another good sized concrete countertop, just regular color, aggregate exposure, undermount sink, but just a lot of long square footage here for a lot of countertop space. Well, that's it guys. So again, if, if you like these videos, go down there and hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're down there. And I'll have a link to, to my friend John Mead here and his website so you can check that out. And that's it. I'll see you on the next video.